Now, thank you, my lord. May I proceed? Yeah. Uh, now, Colonel Mangena, before we, we took a break, we were talking about what are known as known matches and an, a known non-match. And then he had described the, those for us and how they, they work. Now, with regard to these two concepts, the eight test fires that you fired, will they be known matches then? There will be known matches, my lord. Okay. I'm going to test out eight to get in our end up. Now, what to Bula Ilana get exo to again, Ilana as the why in my game. Now, for your examination, comparison, and findings, let's concentrate on the six CMJs. Uh, how, how the sequence of how you conducted this examination? Did you fire two shots? And then you go to the comparison microscope and compare with, once you find the marks, striations, impressions, you go to the firearm, you compare with, with the exhibit firearm. Uh, what was the procedure? I need to get that in my mind. The procedure on? You, you fire the two tests, right? The test fires. Then you go to the microscope and compare the two tests between themselves. Right? You compare test one and say, for example, test three and four, where they fired from the same uh, make of bullet. Marot, I took eight cartridges yes. and I marked them because I took two from each two from NGA, two from Sailor and Ballot, and then the two from PMP, which were the FMJs, and then the yes. other two I can't remember called okay. the manufacturer. Yes. And then I marked them all and then <laughs> I fired test on them. Yes. And then before I could do that, I've compared my test with Warrant Officer Rulof's test first, yes. the FMJs. Yes. And then I started with the other. I'm going to say that I'm going to take a look at the NGAs, the NGA, the CDO, the PMP. I'm going to say that I'm going to take a look at the NGAs, the NGA, the NGA, the so what I'm trying to get is that you fired three to ten consecutively, or you took breaks in between, went back to the mic and, uh, microscope and fired two, or was it consecutive in the tank, three up to ten? I fired from three up to ten. Okay, all right. All right. Then from there, take us through how you went about your comparison there. I started comparing the FMJs first with yes. Warrant Officer Rulof's test. Yes. And okay. after that, I start with the exhibit bullet, started comparing it with all the other tests. Uh, let me come back a bit, uh, and this is for clarification as well, because I told you I'm, I'm, I'm a novice in this thing. The three, I mean, three to ten that you fired, before you do the comparison, do you compare them amongst themselves to see whether similar marks were imparted on them? Well, I compared them with, I didn't compare them among themselves first. Yes. I compared them with the exhibit bullet that I had. Because oh, okay. I know it's a known match because okay. they all they were all fired by mass. Lana gang or nagon goba zona zone is uh got to by me nag me and mundu I test her, nothing it katanis again in tampo then a exhibit. All right. So let's let's go to and I'm going to request uh, advocate Baloy. I requested that yesterday to assist us with the court charts that you prepared. And I'm going to ask you to take us through and show us, because in your testimony last year in August, when you testified about your findings, you said in the first one, and we didn't know what the first one was, or personally, I didn't know what the first one you were referring to. You stated that in the first one, you found six consecutive matching stria or striations in the same relative position. Is that my understanding of your evidence? That's correct. 
So when we refer to the first one in terms of the court charts that were submitted, are we then referring to what is marked exhibit X13 E1 on top? I'm not sure if what you have has been marked, but the court ones have been marked so that we are on the same page. The one that has got the lab number, I think the lab numbers are the same, uh, 217, 267 or 14, and 34369 or 15. Are we talking about this one? Are we on the same page? Is this the, the same one, the first page of this exhibit that is displayed there? That's correct. Yes, now, Kennel, I'm not sure whether you're going to be audible because uh, we, we've gone through this exercise with our expert who's present in court. For you to show us the six matching triad that you said you found on that exhibit. And also for purposes of clarification, uh, the one on the left, because there's a, a this division line, the one on the left is the exhibit bullet, and the one on the right is the test bullet, correct? That's correct, ma'am. Yes. Yeah, so if you can go, I'm not sure whether you've got a pointer that you can show <coughs> at us, and just for the sake of background purposes. The method that you used, the six triations that you say you found, the criteria that you use is CMS, correct? Yes, I use the CMS only. Okay. CMS. So if you can kindly can show us, I don't know whether you've got something to line up with to show us that these are the six triations that I'm talking about. Yeah, you can. Must you I can. move to the? Yeah, you can, uh, can uh, I'm not sure where that. It's not going to pick up when it moves. It's not going to pick up. Is this not movable? No. No. Sure. How far does it go? I'm not trying to use it. Uh, it's not a point, it's a laser. I can try with the laser. Malata can try with the laser too. With the, with the laser point. So what you're saying, you, you're saying his sound or voice won't come up to here because... because can you speak up? Like and let, let's do it this way. Go there to the board. And as loud as you can shout, answer the Council's question, right? Hello? Yes, my lord. And then thereafter, you repeat it to be recorded in the microphone so that it can be recorded. So the first one, you can, you can shout like you have ululating pirates. Oh, he can use this microphone. It's been made available to him. Oh, yeah, so that's uh, the second one. Then you talk so that when he tests whether you have recorded what you were saying previously, it can show that. So, so, so Kendall, before you start, your, your conclusion or findings was that you found uh, matches on TB5 and TB9, correct? Yes, as I've marked them here. If you look at on my left hand side, yes. it's exhibit bullet, which is marked 217. <laughs> 267 when you do microscopic comparison, when you look at them, what you do is you are not just set them and look at them, you move them also. 
you must move if you see if your markings, your striations continue to the side, not only on one spot. Uh, in terms of sequence, let's, let's do it this way, because I want to be precise and understanding. First, and, and I'm not sure if it's the same procedure that you used. You've got the test, right? And then you, 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 you take it to the ocular uh, comparison microscope, and you see, firstly, at the best marks that you can use for Comparison. Am I am I making sense? Malot, when you start searching, you cannot just start with the best mark. You yes. start looking at the yes, marks around. that are yes. visible that yes. you can see. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Let me suggest something. Tell the witnesses and myself and everybody in court, how did you go about yes. testing hmm, the, the using the microscope, moving it above, testing the exhibit bullets and the ones CMJs and okay. Thank you, my lord. I mean, so that explain is. that way. Then he can cross-examine you, tell you that uh, you were wrong to do this, so yes. it never happens, blah, yeah. blah. My lord, what I did is I took the exhibit bullet and put it on the microscope on my left-hand side. Right. And then I took the test bullet and put it on the, 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 the microscope on my right-hand side. When you look through the eyepiece, you can see both items at the same time. Mm. Right. You can start with your exhibit bullet, try and look at the marks that is visible that you can see clearly, that you can identify on your exhibit bullet. And once you have a mark that you see on the, the striations that you can see clearly on your exhibit bullet, you go to your right hand side on your test bullet, you start checking on all the grooves one by one. We can see the identical marks on your exhibit bullet, on your test bullet. <laughs> Right. Once you have seen the identical marks on both items, on your exhibit and on your bullet, mm -hmm. you start counting how many are they or how clear are they or you look at the, 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 the quality of your markings or that you can see or even the quantity of how many are they. Then when you start moving your exhibit, you move both of them simultaneously to the next group. You check the next group. Mm -hmm. And on the next group, you look at the markings. If there are any markings that can, if you can't see clearly the marks, or there's no, you return now to the next group. So moving to your groups, you must move on both items at the same time. You cannot move one and then leave the other one, mm. because your marks must be relatively on the same position. So if it's on group number one, it must be on group number one. If it's on group number three on this one, it must be on group number three on this one. Yeah. And when looking at it, you can see a pattern that matches on both sides. Not necessarily the striation, but you can see even a pattern that this pattern also appears on this. You match that person, it must be also be in relative the same position. Okay. You don't have to find six on all the groups, or you, in some of the groups you can find two or three that matches the two or three. 
as long as they are on the same relative position when you rotate all of them. Okay. Now, let's move to the, the six striae that you said you found on, on TB9. On TB? This one. Five. That is, this, is this TB5, the one that is displayed? Is it TB5? Malot, as I said, when you look at them, you don't just look at one point. Yes. You also move them to the side. Yes. Now, there are, in some instances, you can see your marks clearly here, towards the, uh, the edge of the bullet, but when you look into this one, the same marks that you see on this, because it's a striation, it continues to, you can see it clearly towards the front of the bullet, not towards the back of the bullet. Okay. Uh, Kennel, I'm not sure whether you still have exhibit for on you, which is the exhibit bullet, and show us this part on the left uh, relative to the bullet, whether it's at the base, in the middle, or at the front. I'm not sure if you've got it. Which one? The, 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 the exhibit bullet, the, the actual uh, projectile that was fired. If you can use that to demonstrate your explanation. <coughs> Oh, the big one, yes. Yeah, show us with the model, the uh, big one, yes. Now, when your bullet went through the barrel of a firearm, when we speak of the grooves, we are speaking of this, and the striations are these lines inside your grooves. Now, when you do your comparison microscope, your exhibit will be on your left, your test will be on your right. Yes. When you look through the microscope, you can see them as if they are joined together. Right, let's say these are the best marks or the clear marks that you can see on your yes. exhibit bullet. Now you start rotating the test bullet to see if you can see any matching striers on this one yes. that can continue with this one. Now, if you have a match, like it's a continuation from that side to this yes. side, you start moving them together to the next group. Is the next group matching? Now, in this instance, what do you see? The idea that is there, it's towards the back of the, somewhere here. Okay. Now, if you look at your bullets towards the front, I just want to point out something. Yeah, like this. Now, when you look at your striation length, use that uh, the laser. The laser. It's not clear. It's okay. not clear. Okay, fine, fine. It's not clear. All right, fine. Okay. Now, uh, when you look at the first one, you see this, the third one continues to the Yeah, the first line. Now, when you look at this one, there's two others here. Yeah. But they're not visible here. They're not very clear. Yeah. Now, when you look at this one, there's And my lord, it all goes with experience and training that you have received. And we, we, we've said that those striations that match must be in the same relative area, correct? In the same relative area, yes, they are in the same, same relative, relative position. 
Mshila ruguti la logo kana na inama gumati gafana gafana ruguti kubese dawe ni ngati dawe yote. Because what I did not get, uh, I'm not sure which line. Is it possible to numerically identify the lines that you've seen, the striations? Should I, may not I beg you to take a look at the closer? Sure. I want to see something. Do you want to have a look? May not we beg you just to be closer here? Patch ourselves somewhere so that we can also. Yes, 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 yes. no yes. problem. The, the explanation. No problem. Thank you, my lord. Hey, I want to hear everything which is said in this court. <coughs> no whispering. No, he was saying that. Yeah, yeah, so I want to hear are... that. Okay, my lord. I want to hear that, that because okay. that's evidence. Sorry, my lord, about that. Yeah, uh, uh, Kendall, you can then approach the monitor and point at the lines for us. <coughs> the first try. First two. Train, 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 yeah. These two years. Come back, yeah, I don't think it's clear, but we continue looking towards the There they are again. On the right, they are clear. On the, on the left, left, sorry. On the, and when they move towards the right, towards the divine line, that's it. They, they become fainter. They become faint. Right. And they are clear again here towards the front of the Right. We have a third one, this third one that continues towards the side. Is that on the top of the left? Is that the third one is on top? This one. Yeah, is it the top? It's not the top. No, it's on the same group. Okay, fine, all right. It continues but when it gets towards the yeah, it's not that clear, but when you continue to it, it's also clear again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> On the right side, it's half clear. Yes, and just after the dividing line, it's half clear. And, and then it becomes, clear. becomes fainter. <coughs> yeah, it becomes fainter. And it it's fainter again. when you start, it starts it's on the medium line. When after it, passing this dividing line, it becomes faint. It becomes a little bit faint. That's it. And then it picks up again. And then it picks up, yeah. Okay. And we come to this one, man. It's also visible this side. It's straight to the This is a good line, man. It's visible all around. That's correct. <laughs> and when you look up here, it's this one, it starts here, it continues to that side. Yes, I'm with you. And here, it starts here, this side is not clear, but it starts here, when you go towards the front, it continues. Okay. And all these are on one group. Why do you call those so that we all understand? <laughs> right. Okay. Now, can I... Sorry, sorry. At the end of the experiment. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you, my lord. Uh, now, can I, with respect to this uh, TB5 and the test bullet as well, 
the striae that we've just uh, counted and referred to, are they matching consecutively according to you? That's correct. Okay. So this one, we are saying that we, you, not we, you found six matching consecutive striae. That's uh, and then are, there, are those the six ones that you pointed out? How many did you point during this exercise here? In seven. Okay. Then let's go to the one that you referred to that I'm not sure which one is going to be because in your evidence in chief previously you said on the other one you found five. So I don't know which other one you found five. Can you, from the exhibit, uh, show us which one you found five? Show it, let, let's see it. Is this what we are referring to? That's correct. Again, Kennel, I'm going to ask you to repeat the same exercise by approaching the monitor and showing us precisely those five, five matching striations. Yes, and it continues to that side. We have this one that continues from this side. Also, you see that runs like a rain train. This is one very good. We have this one. It is the fourth one. It's very good. Now that I come by you, it's a sleep million. And we have the sixth one, the fifth one, so basically, and are you confirming that those five are consecutively matching striae as well? That's correct. <laughs> then finally, regarding this chart, kernel, can we go to the one that you said you found two matching striae? When you use the word conservatively, what, what do you intend? I know what you want to say, but is that the correct word? Consecutive. That's the criteria. No, yeah, consecutively. Consecutive. Oh, fine. Yeah, it's the Z which confuses me. Yeah. Okay. It didn't come up with me, my lord. It's the term that they use. In the <coughs> I'm not using it. If you look at E2 and E3, it's the same one. It's e just that e the e magnification two? is not the same. Sorry? E? E2 and and E3. Uh, what? The same? It's the same groove, but yeah. the magnification are not the same. I didn't use the same magnification. Well, I'm trying to enlarge it so that it can be clear. Okay, but they are in the same group. It's the same group. Say. It's on the same group. You don't have a, a microscope with you here. You don't have? No, my lord. No, no, I was just thinking. Or a magnifying glass, you don't have? No, I don't have a microscope. So that glass. a doubting Thomas like me can take it and go and look at it and see what you are saying when you say it's there in the same group, but you didn't magnify it because you wanted to, it to be clearer. Am I quoting you correctly, sir? 
That's cool, but I, I took it. The magnification is not I didn't important. Use the same lenses. To, in one you can see, then the other one I try to enlarge it so it can be a bit clearer. So one is enlarged. It, it the magnification. Right, when you yeah. use the smaller magnification. That's it. You can see it, but you can't see it. When you increase your magnification, yeah, it becomes, it becomes diffused. Like you bring it closer to can see them better. Okay. But they are also <laughs> predicated on the same principle that they have to be on the same level. That's correct, Maro. They are yeah. on the same level. On the same, on same level, same so that we mustn't think some of the us same that they position. are they are haphazard. They are on the same level, as you said, that's the principle. That's then, correct, Malo. And then you move them together in the sense of the scope, the microscope, microscope. when you move them also. That's correct, Malo. Fine. Nanja Mang Shila, we put it finally put it back on level, a yot dragon, muscle hand beside my yogi microscope, up bag, we put it send down in a yot. So, with respect to what you say, they are the same group, one uh, to different uh, magnification. E2 and E3, which one between them is the larger magnification? E3, you can see, but you can't see it exactly clear as E2. Uh, which one is this now? The one that is displayed, Kennel, if you can look at the monitor, is this the, E3. That's the magnified E3. one? Is this the magnified one? The, 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 I mean the, that's the E3, yes. Okay. And then if you then approach the monitor again and say, if you can see the two striae that you said you saw consecutively there. You can see this two, man. What are those? Those are the striers created by by the, the, the groove of the father. Okay. Uh, let me return them to my to my. All right, and, and, and let's go back, uh, Kennel, uh, in respect of uh, the first where you, you identified six, five, and two respe retrospectively, uh, I mean re respectively. Uh, where are the individual characteristics as, as opposed to those characteristics here? What Those are, are the looking, individual characteristics. For individual the ones that I was pointing out to you, okay. individual characteristics. And Logan tried to come back, but Logan will come back and have one other characteristics out of the other. And when Kuruma Mawot, he won't have a while. And even E2 and E3, the ones that you say are similar, are also individual characteristics. That's correct. Can you not E2 or E3? And then let's go to E4 and E5, because I want to know how many uh, identifications have you made. E4 and E5, are they one and the same thing or different things? E4 and E5 is the same markings with different magnification. Okay. Uh, thank you, my lord. Let me return to my station. I'm going to request that we take, having had the ex uh, exercise done, to take instructions from our experts so that I can co uh, continue with my cross-examination.
What's your time there, sir? Uh, three to three, my lord. Three to three. You want me to adjourn? What do you want yes, me to do? Yes, yes, my lord. For how long? Uh, Forever or when? Uh, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I, until three, my lord. It's 22. Until 22. What's the time uh, now? Until three. It's 22, three, my lord. Until three o'clock? Yes. Is that okay? That's okay, my lord. Thank you, my lord. Until three. <laughs>